Where we finished last time, we were outside Thainsaw Bokwal Highland Resort Hotel. But now we need to find some lunch. Unusually, there aren't many places at the top of Bokwal to dine. But we were going to Papawal Waterfall and there is a restaurant there. We had lunch before we went to explore the waterfall. and picked up our bockle water. It is alkaline with a pH of 8 and free as part of your entrance to the waterfall. So, hello guys. Hello guys. Um, now, a few of the bockle not level number 4. Okay, so this yeah. is a uh, waterfall pop-up wall. Pop-up wall. Pop-up wall, yeah. Pop-up wall, pop -up waterfall. Wall, yeah. um, Quite, quite beautiful and about 50 cents to get in, so 2,000 real. Popka Wal in Kamai means swirling clouds, which I think is appropriate. These waterfalls are a two tier waterfall with its first tier being around 15 metres high, while the second one is about 18 metres high. The best time to visit this waterfall is during the rainy season, from June to October. This is because this is when the waterfall is at its most beautiful, with plenty of water going over it. Sometimes during the dry season there will be no water at all. There is a hydroelectric dam being built nearby, so this might change. The waterfall is a great place for a swim on a sweltering day and a very nice place to take pictures. Meredy crossed the stream and ventured along the path leading down to the bottom of the first waterfall. I wasn't so keen as I was almost sure that I was going to fall in. Remember to take a waterproof bag to put your electronics in. One slip could be fatal to them. But you would be nice and cool after a dip in the water. A visit to the waterfall will take about an hour and you can have a swim during this time. The clouds were closing in at the top of the mountain, but when we reached the bottom, we discovered that it had been raining. Apparently we were above the rain, so even if it is raining down in Kampot, it may still be dry up on top of the mountain.
These are short-tailed macaques. Unusually, infants are born white and darken as they mature. As these monkeys age, their bright pink and red faces darken to brown or nearly black, and they lose most of their hair. Males are larger than females, weighing up to about 11 kgs, while females weigh in at a max of about 9 kgs. Males have long canine teeth, which they use for establishing dominance within social groups. Ye Mao, or Lok Ye, is an ancient mythical heroine and a Nikta divinity in the local form of Buddhism or Brahmanism in Cambodia. She is venerated mainly in the coastal provinces of the country, especially along the road from Phnom Penh to Sihanoukville, as well as in Kampot and Kaip. This statue at Bokor Mountain is 29 meters tall and is a monument to Ye Mao and was finished in 2012. She is the protector of travellers and hunters, so stop to pay your respects for good luck in your travels. After a long day of travelling, we decided to head out to one of the great eating establishments in Kampot. First off, a beer at the Kampot fish market, and a plate of traditional fish and chips for me, and Meredy chose the sweet and sour fish. Both were delicious. We got to stare out as the sun set over the Kampot River, and we got to watch the sightseeing boats making their way lazily along the river and under the bridges. We are hoping that we will get a chance to ride one of these boats before we leave Campot, but tomorrow we are off to see a pepper plantation and salt production in Cape. Here is hoping that we get the chance. That's all for today guys, thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share and join us next time.